Hi. Welcome. Hello. You know, I noticed on the uh, starting splash screen thing, the animatic GIF has stopped animating. It's weird. I don't know why. Technical issues abound. Uh, welcome. Welcome to the stream. Let's stream. I have my voice. I have my voice in my ears now. It's really weird because it's like slightly delayed, but hopefully I'll hear the next time this headset ruins my audio. Um, I've also ordered a better mic. Right. Uh, oh, a squiggle. Let me combine that. Object initializing combination. Yeah. Cool. So there's a few things on the to-do list. Uh, clean up tools. That one's easy. I'm going to do that right now. Uh, what I mean by clean up tools is... Hang on, where's tools? Uh, train does nothing. Don't want to get rid of it. I've cleaned the tools. Pray I do not clean them further. <sighs> Why do I quote Star Wars when I don't like Star Wars? Uh, yeah, so I just wanted to get rid of that because it has no function and Yagni. Yeah, I'm gonna need it, even though we totally are, but not yet. Look at that sweet, sweet drawer. This one. Uh, yeah, so these tools all have an effect in that eraser erases, track draws things, and point deliberately does nothing. Train also did nothing, but not deliberately. So, cool, done that. Cross that off the to do list. That's easy. So, What's next? More tracks. That's a possibility. Add more tests. Probably should just finish the track, the tests. Uh, let me, um, let me cool. Yeah, okay. Uh, if there are still sound issues, let's do some tests just to finish it off because I think we basically got them all so horizontal vertical uh, left up let's just name that probably and happiness okay cool so we just I want to add three more tests which is uh, left down right up and right down and at least this way we'll have full coverage of tracks for any future refactoring uh, okay, so left down. So we need <coughs> left down. So we need one one. We want two one and two two. Yep. Yeah. And then wait, that's column. Yep. Yeah. So one one should be horizontal. Two two should be vertical, and two one should be left down. Right up, we want one one, one two, and two two. Two two's horizontal, one one's vertical, and one two is right up. And then right down, uh, we want two one, two two, one two. Yeah. One two is horizontal, two one is vertical, two two is right out. Okay. Let's run the tests. <clears throat> How's your Wednesday evening going? Do you have your snacks? I have snacks. But I can't eat them. Because I ate one before and it makes this sound like an ASMR stream which I don't want to do. You don't need to hear me eat. Oh, we have Valia. Right down. Oops, I don't. Actual lift up. Okay. So, 2, 1, 2, 2, 1, 2. Oh yeah, that's totally lift up. Okay. Did I just forget to change this one? Or did I just do it terribly? Uh, okay, right down. So that means 
Ah, dear. I really should name this. Okay, two, one, yep, one, 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 two. That's better. Okay, run the tests. Hey, Nat, how's it going? Vertical, horizontal. One, two, column one, row two. Yeah, that's. Change your tests until they pass. This is how we do dev. Okay, cool. Uh, check that in. Ah, tests for all. Track. Directions. Okay, so we done that. So there's three things on our to-do list. Um, to-do list is there. What should we do? Three direction tracks, cross tracks, or so. What's that last thing? I should explain. So this is a wind form sap. And it's not going to be a WinForms app forever. Cross tracks. Okay, we have one vote. Hi, Scott. Um, hey, if you're watching this and you're in Melbourne and you're watching it live, tomorrow at Yao, Scott and I are going to be manning the Microsoft booth. So you can come and say hello. Uh, okay, that's my plug. Uh, this stream is now a tax circle. Um, yeah, so cross plat. So this is not always going to be a Windows Forms app, or rather, there should be other apps for other platforms. Um, Mac, sure. Phones, why not? Touch works really well with this game. The draw tracks anyway. And I'd like to put it on the web in some form, because you can't beat that for like low barrier to entry, right? It's like, hey, try this game, here's the URL, done. At the moment, you can all try this game. If you have Windows, you can clone the repo and you can build it. And I could upload a release, or actually I could set up CI. That might be fun. I haven't played with uh, GitHub Actions or anything like that, so I'm going to just do CI one day. Um, but yeah, WinForms is a bit like, you know, it was the fast start. It's not supposed to be the final uh, thing. So I thought we could maybe look at some cross-plat options, but we probably should finish the drawing first, because it is like, you know, it's the final frontier, right? It's basically, I can draw a track like this, but to draw a complex set, I can't, can't do that. And it should be easy, and we have test coverage, so let's go for it. Let's turn on this again. I also realised if this fails again, this live unit testing, because it's failed every other time, um, we should probably try and investigate that failure because maybe that might be useful to talk about how to do that. Not that I know, but maybe hopefully I can work it out. Let's just make sure it's going to work. For tests, I just cool. All right, we should. Probably do some TDD. Okay. So let's make a test. A test. A whole test. And nothing but the test. So a cross track is relatively straightforward. Uh, we want column two, row one, column two, row two, column two, row three, and then column. One, row two, and column three, row two. And because this is a small sample, we have to do it in this order. So for example, if we did the, like, uh, row two, all of the row twos, then when you add this track and this track, it's not going to make a cross. Well, actually, no, it should. Yeah, I shouldn't have to make this go vertical if it's not happy. Hmm. Yeah, let's add, let's add two of those. <coughs> uh, cross, 
Perfect. Let's do. Okay, so, uh, two, one, two, 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 three, one, two, three, two. And we want uh, vertical, vertical, horizontal, horizontal, and this one is cross, which we shall fill uh, I used the wrong uh, analyzer. Oh, it's a one. Okay, and then the results for this test we want the same. Did live unit testing crash? It did. This is a live contract term. Yeah, so this is the same error that I've definitely got before. Uh, I should probably at least log this. There might not be any investigation though, but let's have a look. Right, built completed with failures, error was were locked. Cool. Let's have a look at this uh, folder. There's no logs. So, thus ends our investigation. I'm going to use everyone's uh, favourite development tool, Notepad, and. Uh, Oh, we can we can probably just log that now, right? Uh, where are we? .dot net. Um, I've forgotten what testing is called. Actually, is live unit testing? Oh, it's not even open source. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> I promise I will log the issue. Um, the way to log the issue, just because that's uh, <coughs> no, let's do it now. So we just got this reporter problem thing. You say log an issue if it's not on GitHub, or if it is on GitHub. So, uh, this is me. The problem is I have two new two knees. No. So that was my personal Microsoft account, and I need to log it with my work account. Which you will notice you can't see me logging in. Log an issue with the dialogue. Uh, what issues do you have with this dialogue? I mean, so other than the issue I have right now, which is where it's not. Uh, it's not. Um, not logging in with the right account. Not that that actually matters. Let's just say I find my reports get treated with a bit more priority when I lock them from an internal Microsoft account. Um, if you do have issues with this dialogue, actually, one tip is that if you run the Visual Studio installer, it has this same submit feedback system, so you can log it that way. So, like, if Visual Studio won't even run, try the installer. Uh, right, testing fails. Uh, did it ask start upgrading? I don't know. Who did you see? Now, is Markdown supported? HTML? Mm. Not HTML. Let's try Markdown. Hey, Markdown. Cool. Um, so yeah, all I'm doing is pasting all this stuff in, which is not very exciting. This is the only exciting bit. The, the reason to, to use this tool is this will automatically take a screenshot if you want. If I tick this box, uh, can I do? Uh, let's do that. I need to that Oh, it's a screenshot of the time I clicked the button. Me. Yeah. Uh, you can record a, uh, a recording of you using Visual Studio, so 
you know, we can see what's going on. Um, but also it'll upgrade like all of these files here, which is various log files and things like that, that I've no idea where they all come from, but some of them are important. So some of these will be log files that the live unit testing team can use to work out what's going on. Uh, and they do all get looked at, I promise. I look at some of them as in. Alright, back to what we're doing. Okay, so we have a test. We have two tests. They should both fail. Because we have added no code. Let's see. Build succeeded. That's good. Cross. Cool. Alright, let's go implement the things. We need the code to track, didn't we? Ignore if happy. What? If we're happy and we're ignoring the fact that we're happy, then we return. Is that backwards? That should be consider if happy. Oh, ignore setting the track direction. Yeah, that could have a better name. Um, <sighs> don't set. Don't change direction. Happy. I'm so glad that property is called happy. It makes me happy. Alright. <clears throat> at some point, actually, we probably need to look at track priority. Hmm. I'm going to add that to the to-do list. Okay, so if uh, let's do this again. So okay, cross is a little weird. You would imagine that cross is when I draw this track, it goes if up there and down there and down there, whatever. But well, and that's true. It should do that. That, that should have become a cross. But I also want a cross when I draw this track. So I kind of need to look uh, above, and obviously to the right and to the left and down as well, like all directions, and then check if that is a cross. But maybe that happens anyway. Because if we set this track and it's horizontal, we're going to come down here and say, yeah, we've changed direction and refresh our neighbors. And our neighbors means we're now going to check this one and then this one could change everything. As long as they're not happy, which is probably right. If you have this and then this and I draw a track here. I don't want this to go across. Yeah, okay. So this is actually as simple as you think. It just doesn't seem like it should be. So if neighbors dot up no uh, you know what? Neighbors dot all no ah count. If neighbors dot count is four then uh, we are across. That seems way too easy. So it probably didn't work, <laughs> but let's find out. God, I can hear myself when I take a drink now, it's horrible. Yeah, okay, it didn't work. Uh, oh, what's this one? Expected vertical actual horizontal. Vertical at two comma one. Yeah, okay, it didn't change anything. Right. Okay, that makes sense. Um okay. So new direction is across. <laughs> 
and we're going to mark ourselves as happy because we have four neighbours. And we get our neighbours. It's only going to be if they can connect to us. So that's right. And then it needs to rotate at neighbours as well. So when I set that middle one to across, the one above has to become vertical. Which should be this core? Hmm. I'm just going to debug this. Because, yeah, this maybe might be misunderstanding this one. Let's, um, Let's do. Let's do. Oh no! Okay, this is this is not that case. Er, I lost my test. Yeah. Okay. So this is. I've added the code for if this is the last thing you do. Let's get that. Let's try and get that uh, right first. So cross uh, last, and we'll fill in that one last. Yeah, cool. Let's see if this one passes. <clears throat> and then if this one passes, it just means these two are found because they're neighbors. And of course, this one doesn't pass. So, <laughs> right, debug. Hello, I have a new follower three minutes ago, which should have appeared in chat, but didn't. Sorry, Twitch Master PT, but welcome. Okay. Credit track, set column thing, add it. Okay. Right. We're not happy. Good. We should have four neighbours. Yep. Okay, so we're across. That direction. Refresh our neighbours. Still four? Yep. Uh, uh, this dialogue. This dialogue annoys me because you start reading it and you're like, oh, do I want to do this? Yes or no? But actually, it's, do you want to continue being notified? No, I do not. <laughs> Make go away. Unsubscribe. Okay, so. We're now, uh, where are we? We're doing up. Okay. So this track has one neighbor. It is down. It's across. It's not happy. But it will be. I wonder if that's a problem. Uh, no, it's thing, the thing, the thing, the thing. And so this is going to be vertical. Yeah, that's right. Up becomes vertical. Oh, is this a recursion problem? Uh, wait. Yeah, the neighbor has one thing down and it's across. And it's... Okay. So this is now our cross track again, and we're going to set ourselves to cross. Okay. Oh, now we're happy. Cool. That's probably a problem. Um, okay. So now this guy's not happy, but he's at least vertical. Cool. So our neighbours, we have up is vertical, we're across, and down is still horizontal. This should set it to vertical. No. Hang on. Go back. Go back. Uh, so to go back, 
two options. We can drag, or we can right click, and we can just go set next to it. Much easier if you're going the wrong way. Okay, so this is. Oh, it has no neighbors. This is the track that is underneath the cross we just drew. So we should have a neighbor up. Okay, why didn't it? Let's go there. Step in. So we're at two comma three. Yep. So there's nothing to the left of us. At two comma two, there should be a track. Oh. Can connect down is false. Ah. I need to add cross to all of these cases. Okay. Cool. So we had, we didn't add cross to this, so it doesn't know that it can connect. Anyway, I wonder if there's a way to. Yeah. Hmm. So, switch expressions have to be exhaustive, uh, because they return a value, right? So we're setting essentially we're returning the value for can connect right. So if I get rid of this case, which is the everything, the compiler will complain because this switch expression can't handle every possible value. And if a value uh, comes in and this can't return a value, then this property can't return a value, right? That's a problem. It would be really cool. Oh, Alex, yeah, so I can do that. So rather than a discard for false, what I could do is specify every other direction here to be false. And then when I add a new track direction, all of a sudden these will have a compile error. That's probably a good idea. Hmm. Alternatively, uh, tests for this is probably a good idea too. <laughs> anyway, let's leave it for now because I don't like doing that sort of boring, busy work on stream. Even though I um, can't do it anywhere else because I made a rule that I have to do everything on a stream. <laughs> I'll wait till there's nobody watching. Even though there may only be two now. Two is more than none. Hello if you're watching this on YouTube. <laughs> um, Alright, let's run our tests. Let's be optimistic. They're all going to work now. Go green. Oh, okay. So this one went great. Excellent. Um, can the light bulb help? The light bulb doesn't help because there are no missing cases. So the light bulb, interestingly, the light bulb would help if this was a normal switch statement and we didn't have this. We just had the return at the end. Oh, I'll show you both. So if we write this a bit more normally. And we say uh, switch on that, and then we go. Oh, can't be bothered. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do a new one. If you write a normal switch statement, so um, yeah, public bool foo. Right. So if we switch on this dot direction, and we did case um, left down sure return true and we did return false so in this case the we can get a light bulb here that says add the missing cases or add the default case or add both but you know that's that's not helpful because you can't make adding like missing cases being an error with the switch expression Missing cases is an error if I take out these things, but I'd have to remember to like take them all out after adding enum members so that I can get compilers, which is weird. Uh, so yeah, I I probably just need to specify all of the others as, as being explicitly false, and then the compiler would tell me when I've added a new one. Cool. So. 
when we have the last, so if the last track is cross, then it's a cross. So we go, boop, 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 boop. it's cross. Which, <laughs> we haven't drawn. That's it. We don't test for drawing. Um, no, you know what? Let's do drawing now. Drawing's fun. Track render. Okay. It's been a while since we've been in this code, but this should be... But you're adding all to the stop using discard, so you want to actually add the discard back. Yes, if I add all of the cases with explicit values, then you wouldn't add the discard back, and then the compiler would tell you, like, if you add a new enum member, you get errors saying, yeah. It's probably a good idea. Um, I... Well, how many more am I going to add to this? I'm going to add four more, aren't I? Because I need a three-way track. <clears throat> okay, so the other thing, <laughs> uh, if we go to GitHub, the other thing that I'm going to do is I like this issue about larger tiles. And I should probably draw up my ideas about this. But with larger tiles that take up more than one cell, the whole track direction enum needs to be deleted because it's not relevant. What there actually is for a track is a a series of connection points at <laughs> I didn't get that. No Siri. Go away. A series of connection points. So there'd be one in the top and one at the side or whatever. But the whole enum goes away. Yeah, connection points. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, so I'm not too worried about the enum, because it is not long for this world. Yes. A, a, okay Googles of connection point. Ooh. <laughs> Who's listening to this? I do know one person who watches this, uh, they watch the YouTube videos on the, uh, on their big TV. I could, I could set off their devices, but I shouldn't, because karma. I have, Five Amazon Echoes in my house? No, four. Four Amazon Echoes in my house. I shouldn't. Alright, uh, right, what are we doing? Tests or drawing? Drawing. This is drawing. More fun. Okay. Yeah, this should be easy. So, the drawing code doesn't clear anything. So, I can basically just go plonk, plonk, and it'll probably look bad, but it's a start, and then I'll clean up. So all I need to do is this, I think, let's find out. Oh, that looks great. Here I was thinking I'd like have to draw all the planks and then all the other planks and then try. That looks really cool. Um, I don't actually understand why that looks cool. Shouldn't one of those planks? Hang on, I'm gonna let's do the old zoomy thing again. <laughs> what? Why? Shouldn't the? Okay, so clearly horizontal was drawn first. First, so draw on the planks, I think, and then vertical. Oh, okay, because the vertical planks miss the yeah, okay, that makes sense. That's not bad. Um, it shouldn't have these little things. Uh, those they should be gone, I guess. What are they? What, what are we doing in JavaScript? I can't remember. Uh, oh, that auto save. Oh, okay. JavaScript has all four of the uh, overlapping thingies. That's a choice. Hmm. JavaScript looks a bit better. Those uh, th these planks here. That annoys me. It annoys me because it means the math is wrong, right? 
Oh. No, hang on. Yeah, wait. But we have four pixels here. Yeah, we have five pixels here. That's not right. Mm, my tracks were never centered. So what is the, the track width is four, I think. The track. <laughs> no wait, track padding is ten. Oh, plank padding. Plank padding is five. Yeah, okay. So this is so this I don't want to draw a line. Yeah. It should actually look like like this to be even. And then that would look like that. Yeah. Like that. And then that would look like that. But that still looks that way. <laughs> hmm. Alright. Yeah, clearly the insides of the track. Yes. I could not do that, or I could just switch the order around. So, draw planks, draw planks, draw the tracks, then the tracks, and then clear. But, yeah. <clears throat> that off by one error, that's annoying. That's really annoying. I'm going to revisit that one day. Um, yeah, I think, I think it's measuring, well, yes. Oh, that's what it is, the grid. Yeah. This grid is taking up a pixel, right? So the cell is 40 by 40, but the grid takes up one cell of that, so it leaves 39 by 39. So it is centered, it just doesn't look it because of the grid. Yeah, so no, no. A cell is 24 pixels, it's still 24 with the grid, which means it's 23 of white. So it's centered in the cell, but visually this grid makes it look not centered. Yeah. Um, I, I could probably just get rid of the grid. I kind of want at some point, like, a checkbox for the grid layer so you can turn it off. And I also want a debug layer. Um, one of the things with the train drawing is the collision detection. Um, it gets really hairy, well, for me, because I don't understand math. So, um, I added a debug mode to this, which I can't remember how to turn on, but it's some JavaScript call up here, set debug. And it draws points for the trains for where they're doing their collision detection stuff. Um, and I was thinking the easy way to do that is just have another layer of drawing. So we've got a grid layer, we've got our track layer, we've got a train layer. We just have another layer that is the train debug layer. And then through the glory of DI, those same layers can be hooked up to a set of controls here that lets me configure it. Let's just have a look what happens if we get rid of the grid. Uh, grid renderer. I think that'll do it. I mean, that's completely playable. Click, 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 click. Still got that off by one error though. Yeah, so the last plank. Hello, artificial intelligence. The last plank's in the wrong spot. I probably need to, inst at the moment I'm drawing a plank, moving, drawing, moving, drawing. Probably need to Draw a plank in from the left, draw a plank in from the right, and draw one in the middle. I'm good, how are you? Welcome. Yeah, cool. Cross tracks. Um, okay, so yeah, so the cross tracks, right, so we've got drawing now. The cross tracks that aren't working though is, ooh, <laughs> I can't draw a straight line now with that of a grid. <laughs> okay. So that track should have triggered a change to this track. Uh, thank you for joining us. Did you uh, did you find the stream from Emo's tweet? I'm guessing it's nice to have friends with lots of followers. 
that then retweet themselves from other accounts they manage that have even more followers. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, let's put the grid back so I can draw properly. All right, why are these two tests failing? Browsing, cool. Track one last, that's what. Okay. Let's debug this. So this is a... What are we doing? <clears throat> We're drawing three horizontal tracks. One at the top, which would be horizontal. And then we're now drawing the final track, which would be horizontal and should change the others. Ah, oh, and I've just worked out why it's not. I will show you. See, this is where we need a debug layer. Do you know what we need? We need a happiness layer. Because this would have been immediately obvious. If we have three tracks, and we draw one there, when we draw that next one, this one's not going to change because it's happy. So you need a happiness layer that can draw a smiley face over every happy track. That's actually... A really fun idea. Mm -hmm. Yep, little emoji. Okay, so grr. All right. I feel we're I feel we're back to philosophy now, because now happiness has to be somewhat malleable. Don't change direction if happy. Okay. Happiness <laughs> is a scale. What we really mean is, don't change direction if the number of connection points would be going down. Full cell debug there. Yeah. Yeah, so... So actually, do we even need a happy flag? I guess it's convenient for this, but actually, happiness is just, oop, uh, oh, get neighbors.counts, go on too, which is a little silly to query that all the time, but yeah, a recursion check, uh, don't, yeah, as if minus one to one. No, I actually don't. I, I've already got the count. It, it, it's the count, right? Happiness. So you can change direction of a track as long as the count before is lower or equal to, no, lower than the count after. So... I think that works. Let's find out. Uh, count before. Get that here. And then, if the neighbors ring or if the new count, which we have to calculate again, is greater than the count before. Happiness is a double. No, it's not. It's an int. <laughs> um, yeah, that works. I think. Maybe. Can't hit happiness in four bytes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're too ambitious. My happiness scale is much lower. All right. I wonder if any of these will pass. <laughs> I've just broken it. But hey, that's why we have tests. And also, as a uh, mention to nobody in particular, but I'm thinking of them. Um, 
that's why you don't have test the test implementation details because yeah test run aborted oh did my build file no uh, well, that's fair. oh don't change direction of copy oh we're not we're always applying that now okay so we might have had problem with um we might have a problem with raising but what is the problem? Tests, host, process, guest, stack overflow! Okay, I'm guessing there's your recursion thing, right? Why? It should still be protected because if the count doesn't go up, we're not calling this. Check <laughs> Yeah. Hi. They sent me to you. <laughs> um, mm. I mean, yeah, this recursion, like, let, let's do a simple recursion check and see if that fixes it. Which, mm, I kind of want to, in an ideal world, I'd probably put back the previous code. And then, um, then put in the recursion thing, and uh, yeah. See if that works. But yeah, I mean, if nothing else, this should stop the stack overflow out. Assuming it's in this method. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I committed. Yeah, I'm, I'm not worried about the code back. The undo buffer is long. Hmm. Test run about it. Okay, that's interesting. No, it's like what? Oh, <laughs> wait. That should have only prevented it even more. What? This is an int mutex. No, it doesn't. Why? Let's do this and uh, show that one. Because you enter and exit multiple times. Uh, no. I enter. I. Uh, <laughs> they're different objects. Like, they're different tracks, right? So I'm setting the direction of this one. And we're going to do this. Now we're going to refresh our neighbors. We have no neighbors, I guess. That's the first track. Yep. So that's the that thing. Um, cool. So second track. Third track, fourth track, fifth track. It's the fifth track. Okay, it's, it's fine. Fifth track. Um. Whoa. Hello, visual artifact. Yeah, let's do it. <coughs> Oh, yeah, was it the fifth one or the fourth one? No, I'm confused. No, okay, didn't hit the right one. It's the fourth one. Oh, no, not <laughs> the right one, the wrong test. Okay, do that one. Did you hit the right one? Yes. And do that. Okay. So we're not set in the direction, now we are. Oh. Okay. Get neighbors. Oh. Okay, that's why we need happy as a state, because that checks that, which checks that, which checks that. Hmm. Hmm. 
If I put this back to being a property, then I can still set it here. But does this early return need to worry about that? Because no, it still can't. The well, the early return is not the return. The non-setting still has to do that. Hmm. Let's see. Okay. I haven't broken anything, and I haven't fixed anything. Good. All right, let's just go back to debugging this test. Okay. <clears throat> so we have our neighbors. They have no neighbors. Uh, why not? Oh, yeah, we haven't fixed that problem. Because our neighbor doesn't get returned because it's happy. Aha. Right, so what's happening is, when we draw, uh, we draw like this, we draw like this, when we draw this track, we then ask for the neighbors of this track, and we get nothing, because this track doesn't want to move. So, this track can connect down if it's not happy or its direction is yeah okay or if it's horizontal well if it's horizontal and there's a track above it that can connect down Yeah. Okay. The horizontal when get neighbors question mark the up. No. Yeah. Dot can connect it. Up. It was true and true. I think that makes sense, and I think that will fix that one specific oh, case uh, because I feel that, uh, but it won't fix this one. Hello, it has been a while. Uh, yeah, the game is like seriously half the gameplay is done because you just draw tracks. <laughs> it's it's honestly why I think crossplay. Should be done maybe before trains because it's just fun to draw things. Uh, oh, I still have errors. Oh, oh, yeah, it's funny. <laughs> yes, I have tests. Oh, wow, it has been a while. Yes, no, I swear I did test errors. Okay, cool. So that fixes that case. So we just need to do that for everything else. The interesting thing is. If we're going to do three-way tracks, then horizontal tracks can always connect down because they can just become a three-way track. So I think I might just be getting rid of this bit very soon. But anyway, uh, can connect up is when it's horizontal and so it's down. And so that should fix the other test. And I, I, I guess I need more tests because... 
Oh, interesting. Vertical. Oh no, this test puts one to the left or the right. Yeah, so I really probably should have. Um, I should probably have more tests that test all variations of the order you can draw a cross track, and therefore I guess the order you can draw all well, the other tracks too. Uh, let's check right, now. right and go. Yes. All right. So now we can draw a track. We can the gaps and. Great. See, drawing tracks. I'm telling you, it's addictive. Try it out. Clone the repo. Okay, we need three thingies. Uh oh. What? Bye. Crash. Uh. Whoa. <laughs> Okay. Um. <laughs> um. I'm just gonna run Event Viewer and and hope I don't reveal any personally identifying information. How do I? Oh, no, it doesn't work. My magic hotkey to size the window doesn't work because I guess it's elevated. Um. That's going to take a while to load. Alright, I'm going to leave it over there while it loads. Oh, looks loaded. And it doesn't say anything. Interesting. Oh, yes it does. So, if you want to know why an app crashes, Event Viewer works, usually. Uh, so this just says that it crashed. It's not very exciting. There's usually one other event near it, uh, and they have. Well, oh, restart manager. No, don't restart. Oh god, my computer is gone. Right. Anyway. Uh oh. Oh, I think I clicked the sort. Oh, stop sorting. Grr. <laughs> anyway, what was on the screen previously briefly? was a uh, Stack Overflow exception. So, yeah, uh, something I did, I wonder if I do it in the debugger, I'll catch it. Um, yeah, my dodgy Stack Overflow prevention is obviously not good enough. Uh, what did I do? I'm doing this. And I was like down here. Oh, there it is. Ah. Wow. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay, get name that's can connect left. Oh, I've done it again. <laughs> Why did no one tell me? Yeah, so this dot happy used to call get neighbors, which calls stack overflow. And now this one uh, It's interesting that the test passes though. I guess I guess it's just the number of tracks it's tracing around. Although it shouldn't. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe my is is doing whatever bull doesn't work. Like, it shouldn't look at every single track when you draw a face, right? So when I do this, right, when I draw a track here, it shouldn't snake all the way back assessing the direction of every single track. Oh! How cool would that be on a debug layer? Having it slow down the checking and have that like animate go. That'd be cool. Um, 
so it was like it was when we did this and then like eh yeah <laughs> well it's easy to repro uh, why? why 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 so this sets the thing I'm gonna run a test for it let's let's do um, well, it's not a cross. We don't want a cross. It's three verticals. So we've got two verticals. We want three verticals. And I think I've, oh no, I thought I violated my own uh, code sounds. Let's do five. And let's do three. And then one next to that. Now realistically all of these should be vertical. So one five, two four, and three three. But I know that this is going to cause a stack overflow. So let's find out why. Oh, I have too many wards. I should pay more attention. Alright. Add the track, set the direction. Cool. So... <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. There's a stack overflow. Yeah, okay. There's no stack overflow direction of the get neighbors cool. Oh, this is painful. Hmm. Hmm. This is so painful. So what's happening? We draw one. We draw more. And if I click this mouse button, this will stack overflow. Okay, so we the direction here would be horizontal. But the first thing we do is go and say how many neighbors do we have? So we get our neighbors and we check hey, can this connect right? which it okay to check that well it's happy so it's not the first case it's directions vertical so let me pull it up uh, so can connect right we fall through all of these it's vertical so we get its neighbors in order to check if it's can connect right so to get this neighbors, it's uh, we check if it can connect right, which wait. So we're checking this one can connect right. This is also vertical, so it goes there. So it gets its neighbors, oh, which is the right one. And then that gets that goes, yeah, okay. <laughs> God. Oh, how do we do this? Damn. That's really hard. To know whether this one connects to this one, we have to know whether this one can connect to this one. <laughs> Nah, there's got to be an easy way. This has got to be. <laughs> I know, because I'm almost positive the Java conversion does not have this bug. But let's find out. Boy, it'd be funny if it does. Yep, and... Yeah, we're great. Hmm. Maybe the algorithm is too naive. 
and it's relying on just seeking around everything. Maybe this needs to actually say, you know what, if someone's there, and someone's there, and someone's there, and someone's there, then let's say because it's all across, rather than relying on that call to check, let's say. Maybe you're trying to be too clever. <coughs> But, a list of cells you've already seen. <laughs> so, in theory, yes, I can add a list of cells. So, this one calls good neighbors, this one calls good neighbors, this one. And it can say, oh, I've already seen this one, so I won't calculate it. But, this can't actually answer the question unless this gets calculated. <laughs> so, I can prevent the stack overflow, but I can't get the answer to the question, you know? Um, it, it, yeah. This still needs to know if this could be converted into a left-facing track, which means this needs to know if this could be converted into a right-facing track. Yeah, yeah. I think I think this whole case here is a bit smart. Although, ah. Oh, I did say this could go, right? I don't like, no, no, it's okay, it's not, uh, I mean, the, the, the first thing you think of when you get a stack overflow is how do I stop this recursion, which makes sense. It's just that we don't know the answer. But actually, yeah, so this can actually go. So a vertical track can always be connected to the right, because either it becomes a three direction switch track or <laughs> or it becomes a cross that seems really weird to say that a vertical track can always be connected right but maybe it makes sense this is a little weird because like my statement is only true when i have three direction tracks implemented, which I don't. But if this three verticals test doesn't stack overflow, then we might be right. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, these two start failing again. So these two used to pass. These two failures is probably just my fault. Because, no, it's not. I didn't change this test. I changed this test. Interesting. There's no difference between horizontal and vertical. That's a fair point. Yeah, I guess under this system, that's true. Which might explain what's going on, because... Oh. Oh, there's the problem. I feel like the same issue came up last week, where can connect right or left or up or down is kind of not nuanced enough. It's like, I can, but I probably shouldn't. But then with the cross track, it's like, well, can you, even if you really don't want it? Because, yeah, this, like, just turned the corner. That's not good. Like, our, our happiness is supposed to prevent that. Oh, so there's... Corner tracks don't line up anymore. Did that? Oh. Hey, look at that. Scott, are you still watching? <laughs> I found a bug on your PR. Uh, that's probably my grid code. I should, yeah, revisit code. Um, <laughs> okay. Yeah, okay, so what's happening? So when I draw this, this track is supposed to leave this alone because it's happy. But what we've said is, oh no, you can always connect right. Well, no, see, that is true if it's a three-way track. But that feels wrong. It feels too easy. Like, if I do that, yeah, no, that's not right. So for a three-way track in the JavaScript version, you have to explicitly draw on a track that already exists. So you have to go, boom, and then 
Actually, yeah, no, you don't. I wonder what BDD tests would look like. Yeah, <laughs> I actually, I seriously thought about that. Um, but order is, well, no, I guess you could have tests that don't, where order is not important. Um, yeah, I actually think actually our checks, like I tried, uh, one of the first things I did with the tests was I had, uh, theory and I just had these parameters as, like, you know, parameters, inputs. And you couldn't read the tests because it's just numbers. So I actually thought ASCII art might be a good way to do that. Um, it's probably, yeah. Well, I guess you go through the ASCII art, you place a track everywhere there's a character, and then you validate with the same ASCII art, but check the directions. Yeah, that actually is probably a really good idea. Um, but you would still want some more tests because, like these cross ones. The order you place these is super important. Well, it's super important with the code as I've written, maybe, because of the terrible code. Alright, so let's undo this idea. And so we're now back to working. All of the tests should pass except these top two. And that's not going to build because I'm running the app. Custom BDD language. <laughs> you can write a DSL just for tests. <laughs> you only say because you know it's exactly what I do. All right, so those two test file. Um, expect a vertical, axial, horizontal. That's actually that's right. That would be should be horizontal. Right. So now we're back to no stack overflows. We can draw, ugh. we can draw multiple vertical tracks, but we can't draw across like that. We have to draw across like this. Yep. Okay. Hmm. <sighs> How do we do that? If I go, um, boom. oh, it does. Question. Train Oh, Gherkin. I like it. If you click on the top of some cell, does it reverse the direction? No. Um, we talked about, I talked about a rotate track, uh, possibility last week, uh, and it definitely is something that I think it's a good idea essentially a rotate tool and you click and it would rotate through all of the valid states. Excuse me. So this version, JavaScript version, has a rotate function, but it just blindly rotates. So you can go like that, which is a bit silly. Um, so I would want to do it a bit smarter. Um, actually, I've just thought of the actual answer to the question. Does it reverse direction? Yes. This goes to the left to the right. And if I click, it now goes right to left. <laughs> um, okay. So, crosses. So, we want to ignore happiness. Yeah. If we don't have the algorithm so smart, because we only want to ignore happiness on the cell that would be in the middle. If in this situation, this is happy, so we're happy to ignore that, but we shouldn't ignore happiness here. Yeah, that's the problem, because, yeah, that's where you're using reflection. I was just curious why the far right cell defaulted to horizontal. So horizontal is just the default, and this track has nothing that influences its direction, right? This track is vertical and it's connected, so it's not going to change. There's nothing here, there's nothing here, so this is horizontal. If I draw one here, they both become vertical because they form a squad. Um, but yeah, the default's just horizontal. Uh, eventually, when there's three-way tracks, you could make that happen, 
but I think it makes for too many three-way tracks. You kind of want to be able to draw tracks next to each other, but you get these all just joining up, and it's not very nice. Or at least, it's not... I don't want to try and network it. We could use RxJS to calculate vector. I mean, I could use reactive... Well, this isn't JavaScript, but I could use reactive stuff. I was actually thinking about um, some of that with, like, the train system. So the, the project I work on, we use uh, the task parallel library data flow, which is quite... it's kind of reactive. Um, you know, like, so a track would appear, and then a, an update would flow through the system, say, hey, there's a new track here, and every component would react as is appropriate. So the renderer would react by rendering, I guess. Um, yeah, there's definitely more stories about TPL data flow. I could tell you some more stories, because, boy, was that a ramp up. Um, but yeah, so I was thinking about, like, event-based, like, if a train was... Uh, like, let's say a train was here, then if it gets an update that says, hey, there's a new track, it goes, oh, well, is it in front of me? Because I can start again. <laughs> Nearly need an, if you're drawing on me and I already exist, then take away my happiness. Yes, but we're not drawing on you, right? We want to take away the happiness of the neighbour to the north. <laughs> but yes, that's kind of it. It's a temporarily removal of happiness. We'll call it we'll call it variable lithium tablet. That's getting a bit dark. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Where are we? Okay, so all the tests fast because this one was bug and we're gonna fix the test. Right. Okay. So that's cool. So the the simple way to fix this One of the ambulance cation. Oh, well, I mean, th there's nothing wrong with data flow. So, so I work on a part of Visual Studio. Visual Studio uses data flow. It works great. You just have to understand it. But do you draw that as a three by three grid? Okay. Uh, so the three by three grid, we've got it. X, 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 X. X, X. So what should happen there? Probably this one should have made this go to a cross, and then that should then turn right. To the prior art. <clears throat> click, click, oh. <laughs> Click eventual consistency. Click, click, click. Yep. Click. Yeah, that works. But, wait. If you're drawing on me and it would exist, then take away my happiness. Yeah, that, I still don't think. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's do this. The simple cross for the same thing holding down. Okay, I will. Uh, 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 uh. I'm sorry, I don't know what. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so the only one that where your drawing on me matters is the three way. Three, the, th the three-way junction, you have to draw on top of it again. Yeah, that's right. Maybe the old version used to be, used to be different. Um, oh, look at the figure eight. Okay, stop drawing tracks. See, you get distracted drawing tracks. Okay, so maybe let's try this. Let's just try the complicated four-way cross, the non-simple. So for the simple one, Fine. Crossroads were also an injury across it. No, yeah, they're not. I think they maybe used to be, but at some point. I don't know. I remember the cross tracks were painful to do. I don't remember why, but I wish I wrote some tons of notes. 
So, if we have a track to the up, we don't care about its happiness. Uh, yeah. And its neighbors. Now, okay, for its neighbors, we do care about happiness. So we only want to consider tracks that are happy to move. So we can just do that. Uh, four. Because <laughs> we've already been added. So where are, where we're included. Oh, wait. What happens in, oh yeah, no, we're not happy. So this is going to turn through. Yeah. So if there's a neighbor to the up and it's got four neighbors, then we're across. Uh, no. Oh. We're vertical. And our neighbor. Will it automatically change? Because neighbors, it'll be four. So we'll just say cross. Directions changed. <clears throat> And the count is greater than the count before. That should be all. All end. Mm, doesn't matter. Cause it, yeah, I think it can't be anything but end. But yeah, let's try that. That's obviously only in one direction, but we can try that. <coughs> I've always, speaking of TPL data flow, I've always thought there should be some, like, trend, well, not translation layer, but some extension methods or some way that lets you sort of express with reactive style, like link statements, but have it run TPL, uh, like, you know, link for TPL, I guess. Okay, better one. That uh, and its neighbors. Its neighbors should be four. Um, do we have a test for that? Uh, that's drawing three verticals. We want this one. Debug. <clears throat> I thought cross would be so easy. I thought it would be. I mean, I guess one bit of was. But I thought it would all be easy. Got to fix up that parameter. All right, we have one neighbor, right? Hello. We have no neighbors. Oh, that's yeah. This is the problem that we had before. So we're not seeing our upstairs neighbors, upstairs neighbor, because it's happy. So what we need for a cross track, for this case specifically, is an overload of get like uh, get neighbors that doesn't care about happiness of anybody. Ugh. But it's only for this method. Okay. Okay, neighbors. So all neighbors. <coughs> yeah, neighbors. Um. <laughs> Good neighbors. I'll worry about refactoring later. Okay. So we get. Oh, <clears throat> yeah, let's just that's kind of easy. <laughs> all right, so we get all of our neighbors now, if we have a neighbor upstairs, and our neighbor upstairs is 
count including happiness is four. Okay. Does that work? Nope. Expected vertical actual hovers. What? Wait. Oh yeah. We should have changed the vertical. Ah, oh, let's do it. Whoops. What did I press? Associate to test case. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Never clicked that icon. Uh, I've before. Alright. Okay. All neighbours is one up. Excellent. We have no neighbours. Fine. Up is it null. Up get neighbours is four. So we're changing to... Yep. Vertical. Oh. No? Okay. Yeah. So, okay. We're now vertical. Cool. We get our neighbours, which is three. None. Oh. Yes. No. Oh. God. <laughs> this is so annoying. Because I don't want to refresh all neighbours. Maybe I do if we've been that case. Our cross is just that different. Maybe we should have a whole other method here, which is like try set cross. Because it seems like happiness is so uh, ingrained that it's hard to avoid. But you need to avoid it in uh, not in that case, but in this case, and the three cases, obviously, like it. Um, actually, so there are three cases like this, obviously, right? Like they're for the four different directions. We don't even need to set that direction to vertical. What we're actually saying is if there's a track next to us that has four neighbours, pretend we've just drawn it. There's a shortcut. If there's a track next to us that we just call set Does that make sense? Boy that seems dodgy. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Can I convert from track to bull? Oh, yeah. No. That's better. Uh, okay, so that's gonna hit this recursion guard, so we don't want that. So yeah, maybe if this has to go up here, maybe we just have a thing that checks for crosses. Let's try it. All numbers and all numbers and yeah. Uh, up, left, down, right. Yeah, as long as we've already been setted, set, setted. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> 
This is not nice. Surely there's a better way than doing this four times. <sighs> okay. Left. Ah, so that's Alt Shift Dot. In case you don't know that one. Which is find next and select it and add an extra character there. Ah, uh, which one suggests? That feels so dirty. This repetitiveness of this code and the fact that I'm doing it early. Oh, it's weird. <clears throat> but if they make the test go green, oh, look at this. Okay, so turns out crosses are easy if you draw them, and if they're hard, just pretend you've just drawn them. <laughs> Oh dear. Alright. Don't change direction if happy. We need to work out if we need that. That is, uh, that is for the eraser case, a remove track. Do we need a test for that? No. So we need a test for that. And we need a good test. But, uh, what do you mean? It says, this, cross, corner. It works. Yes. Alright, that's awesome. It's so funny how long this stuff takes. Like, I honestly thought that we'd be finished drawing all of the different track directions. Oh! I, sorry, I missed new followers. I gotta work out what's going on with my chat here. I have no idea what, how anything works on Twitch, so. Uh, hello, welcome Gork and Emmy Flake, thank you for following. Welcome to the train gang. I don't know. We don't have a name. Oh! Second of That was there. And so that's checking thing. But get, mate, get neighbors doesn't call get gamers anymore. Can connect to the Doesn't call get, doesn't get, I didn't leave a call in. Get all neighbors doesn't call in. Set best track direction call set best direction. Oh, that's gonna set it on itself. Okay, so what's happening there is if I have these tracks and these tracks and these tracks. So when I click this, it's gonna check that one. That one is then gonna check all of its neighbors, which includes this one. So it's gonna check that one. Yeah. Okay. So I need recursion protection, but I don't want recursion protection <clears throat> because I want this to be able to chase tracks. <sighs> this is so annoying. I gotta do like this. If my neighbor up doesn't equal the Thing I was passed in. Yeah, that actually makes sense. I think. Alright, let's remove don't change direction if happy. I'll remove them here. I've done this right dot first or default d equals x dot get numbers that comes to the bar. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I do like that. The array. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's horrible and disgusting, but it's also really cool. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was thinking. Don't know that. Um, yeah, I was thinking I enumerable if I had a 
help a myth in the really yield. I think I almost wrote one, or I did write one at one point on the stream. Um, all right, and then this one, we wanna, oops, we wanna track ignore. Uh, we pass in this. And uh, let's actually don't check for cross. Mm. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah, I don't need that at all. I just need to call this method, not this method. So actually, this is just set best track direction or cross and that's whoop, that's that and I'll fix up these names later and this is the one we call from here and we get that parameter right a zero list all right can I fix all of these yes thank you very much last one and that one I don't think that is any simpler. But if it makes the error list be quiet, I will make it be quiet. Alright, let's see if that works. Oh, wait, I've got tests. <laughs> uh, how do you do it like this? Do, do, do. Yeah. Oh, oh, hey, oh, oh, oh. I'm getting fancy. That's, that's good. We haven't stack overflowed yet. So I'm taking it as a win. I probably should have added a test for the case that I found when I found it, but no. It's kind of like, does this look like a henna art tattoo to anyone else? Yeah, okay. Oh! Ah! Error. Abort. Oh, look, another one. Oh. Damn, I got bugs. I got bugs. I don't know how to reproduce them. Though. That's annoying. Oh! Alright. Um, how do I do that? Nope. Is it... What was it? That was, that was this, this, and then that. Okay. I can write a failing test for that, I think. And then, yeah, that'll have to be, I think, a job for tomorrow. Really need to have a go at this. Yeah, please, um, clone the repo and have a play. All you need is Windows. It is that. Can I paste that in here? Eh. I should paste that. Oh, I should stop probably. I should paste that in there more often. Um, if you haven't, also, the previous screens are uh, on this playlist. A really complex system. Yeah, it looks like a complex system. It shouldn't be, but it, well, cross tracks anyway. Totally are. The only thing I wonder is whether I shouldn't look into that bug until the three direction tracks are done. Hmm. Try and do it functionally. Functional is an interesting approach. I mean, that's like, so one thing I haven't really done that I could also do is just, like, I added each direction one at a time. So the order of these calculations does not necessarily make sense. The order in sort of priority of what directions will be set doesn't really make sense. There's possibly an argument to simply say, once I've done all the directions, even if they're still edge cases, to throw this code away. I've still got the tests, but redo it in a sensible order, like maybe from most complex to least. Don't know, but then does that mean you never get horizontal tracks, instead you get lots of weird things? Um, yeah. It's definitely interesting. It's definitely something that I think 
is worth coming back to. But yeah, I want to go right first. So all of these best paths, I think. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Cool, I don't need to rub it in. <laughs> yes, it definitely needs more work up front in tests. Um, that's kind of why I started with theories as well. Like I wanted to, um, I wanted to make them quicker to write. They're a little bit annoyingly long. The the BDD is probably a really good idea. Um, oh, you know what? It really is. Because you could draw any layout and then you could try like mm, no. I was thinking it could try placing those tracks in every possible combination of orders that you could place those tracks and the result should always be the same. But it's not. Because like if I go dot 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 that is very different from this. Whoops. Which is the same cells but different order. Um but yeah there's <laughs> there's probably a very good argument for BDD tests because the coverage you would get, I think, would be sort of higher, more quickly. All right, so this is across um, vertical first. This is across horizontal first. This is across uh, middle last. And... I need another type of cross. Hey! Hello, Kim. Thanks for joining us. Welcome. Try to check the Yeah. Yeah, they are until you, until you do the thing. Hey, let me even make sure I've got this. It's up and to the right. And then those two. And then, ready? Holding goes. Bung. Uh, recorded UI tests, yeah, I mean, I don't, like, I don't, the pixels, that's kind of, I don't know, like, if I, if I fix up the, uh, cross tracks, because there's a little line in there, that would fail. It's a joke. No, I mean, that's not, I don't think that's a joke. I think that's, actually, you know what? A recorded UI test, where the recording was built in, to the app, so it recorded what cells are clicked on, and then it saved the UI test as ASCII art. That'd be perfect. That'd actually be, yeah, that'd be really cool. All right. Anyway, I am going to create a failing test for this, which almost looks like a person wearing a headdress of some kind. Oh, that didn't work. <laughs> I'm going to create a failing test for this. And I think I'm going to call that a night because it's bedtime. <laughs> and because crosses, cross tracks work, that's fine. I can, I can cut some things off my list. That bug is, yeah. It's just a minefield. Once you get into when you should and shouldn't try and change directions of things. Uh, so. What are we going to call this one? We're going to call this... I don't even know. <laughs> Complex failing thing. Um, this is a, a right angle with circle top. We have casual tech Friday to work. So this is totally happening. <laughs> Absolutely. So, I mean, this, if you missed the first train, this JavaScript version, this absolutely started where I used to work with a couple of people, and we just started mucking around with it. Uh, it was great fun. All right, so we go to column one, row five, column one, row four, column two, row four, column one one, keep things under rotor. Uh, yeah, not yet, but 
yes, I want to add that in, uh, but I want to do the drawing first because, so the rotation, the JavaScript version has rotation, but it's unbounded, right? It just cycles through enum values. So you end up with this, we get unconnected tracks. I want to do it, but I want to do it only for valid values. So uh, this is a terrible example. Um, uh, yeah, like this. So if I rotate this track, it should be able to go horizontally, or this angle, or this angle, or all three, but that's it. So I kind of want to get my direction track right first. Um, uh, then one, one, then two, one, then one, two, and then two, two. Okay. See so these tests, they're just so annoying to write. One, two, five, six, seven. Okay. Um, one, I see I've got to copy all these numbers again. Can I do this smartly with just your uh, Alt Shift Control C and Alt Shift Control V? Yes. All right. Uh, what were we drawing here? Yeah. Oh God, ask you up. There's got to be. There's got to be a winner. This should be vertical. This should be right. Down, this should be horizontal, this should be right down, this should be left down, this should be <laughs> right up, and this should be left up. Okay, this one will fail. Now I get to write the world's easiest to do item. Let's fix the failing test. Is my to do screen still working? Yay. Uh, oh, that test passed. <laughs> what? Okay, hang on. Alright. <clears throat> Column one, row. One, two, three, four, five. Column one, row four. Column two, row four. Oh. <laughs> but have I mentioned that I'm terrible at maths? I apparently can't even, like, add. <sighs> okay. This is four, three, three. And this is four, three, three. Okay. This should fail. I've never been so excited for a failing, failing test. Okay, cool. We expected vertical, we got horizontal. Um, really? So this is one, four, four, three, thing, do, 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 do. Oh, okay, yeah, that's the first one I'm testing. Cool. Alright, failing test. <sighs> Should I start debugging it? Uh, Alright. <laughs> I don't want to leave it failed, but I gotta stop because I'm getting up early. So I repeat, anyone in Melbourne, if you're going to yow tomorrow, come and say hello. I'll be at the Microsoft stand. Come and to do a thing, and I you get a T-shirt. Put add track dot up dot right type definition. Um, yeah, that would be cool. That would be very cool. Fluent. Well, actually, you don't in in the, with tests. I don't actually even care about columns and rows. But the only thing wrong with that fluent notation would be how do I get them out again? Like, I need to get that track that was the result of the up call so I can validate its direction. I guess if we had ASCII art. <laughs> Why do I feel like it's always back to ASCII art? Right, I'm adding it to the to-do list. <laughs> ASCII art, BDD tests, there you go. 
Ça fait chaud. <sighs> this is this is taking a turn. We're going to be running the actual trains in like 2023, but I'll have the best test system. <laughs> to find the assertion on up. Uh, you... Yeah? I guess? So you could call dot up, pass in the expected end direction. But you just have to wait till the end to validate them all. Yeah, but that works. Then you just loop through all the tracks. They should all meet their validations. Yeah, that's actually pretty good. Right, that down. I'm going to immortalize. Uh, you know what? I'm going to do this properly. I don't know why I have a to-do list when I have an issues thing. Do you want to add an issue? Or should I? I don't want to steal your thunder. I have to wait 30 seconds for the words to flow through the internet to your ears. <laughs> so live streaming's engaging. Alright, what's going on? All neighbours. We have three neighbours. <sighs> Which track are we drawing? I hate my tests now. We are drawing two two. We have three neighbours. That's correct. But none of these should go in. Okay. That's interesting. I find that really interesting that this bug has nothing to do with the cross tracks. Oh. I should like go back and see if it repros in an older version. Neighbours is three. Yes. Okay. Wait. Maybe this isn't a bug. Hmm. Hang on. <laughs> da, da, da. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's better. That's a feature, yeah. Well, yeah. No, but yes. No, okay, actually, the fact that it... No, the fact that it rotates all these is fine. This track isn't happy, so it is game for rotation. But this one ended up the wrong direction, so that's a bug. But now seeing this, I'm wondering if some of these bugs are manifesting because I don't have this sort of final piece of the puzzle, the three-way tracks. Like, it's not an option. So various cases are falling through here where they would have been caught before. No, but... But in the Windows one, this thing still ended up wrong. <laughs> like, this ended up... Whoa. Can I go back? No. I ruined it. Um, this ended... No. Yeah, like that one. Okay. <laughs> Rotation's annoying. Alright, so we have three... We are going to set ourselves to left up, that's right. Got any free outtakes? No, I'm sorry, I do not. Um, I can't even get my work to pay for a ticket for me, so <laughs> they ain't gonna pay for you. <laughs> Alright, so new directions left up, old directions undefined. So we're gonna go set our direction. We're going to refresh our neighbours. So our neighbours at this point formed a little right angle. Now we've gone here, which has formed that. So yeah, converting to a circle, that's fine. So our neighbour up does the right thing. Our neighbour down does the wrong thing. Okay, so let's have a look. What does our neighbour down have? Uh, our neighbour down... Uh, what, is, what is our direction? So, we are horizontal. Okay. Our neighbour up should be left up. Yep. Our neighbour left is left right down. Yep. We're not happy. Our neighbour 
up is not happy. Yep. Camp first two. Sure. Oh. Huh. Wonder if that's from I wonder if our neighbour up should actually not be in this list because once we're finished setting all of these he will be happy. <laughs> anyway, okay, that's not it. We have a neighbour to the left and we have one to the up. Yeah, and the up can connect down because it's not happy yet. Grr. So what's happening is okay so we're drawing this track <clears throat> and we notice that we have a neighbor here that can come down yep we have a neighbor here that can come right cool so we, this one gets drawn in that direction. So now we process this track. Um, well, actually, no, no. So we actually process this one first. This one says I've got a neighbor here and a neighbor here. So it becomes curved. So we're looking like this, right, with this one here, obviously. Now we process this one, and this one says, well, you're connected to me, so that's fine. Cool, leave that alone. And it looks at this one, which is this one, and it says, can you connect to me? And the answer is yes, because this isn't happy. But it will be happy. <laughs> so the interesting thing is, presumably, I can avoid this bug if I change that, which is obviously not a good sign. So that, 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 yeah. So that's, and that's what the JavaScript one did, right? Except that this became a three connection join, which we don't have here. That's really annoying if the code is too reliant on this order. That just means, to me, that means I got some dodgy code in there. Because, yeah, my tests are not exhaustive enough. I need to, so I'm testing like if you click there, then there, then there. But I need to test if you click there, then there, then there. And I need to test if you click there, then there. You know what I mean? <laughs> there, then there, then there. And there, then there, then there, which will work. But yeah, <sighs> more tests. Mm. So when I didn't have the thing, that went up. Then I looked at that one. That one should have been happy, and it shouldn't have moved. Ah, oh, no, that's an interesting thing. Maybe this shouldn't be recursive so when I draw a track when I draw this one it goes and says hey you go do things and then you go do things and then you go do things and then you go do things maybe it should well so and then as part of that this says hey you go do things and you go do things maybe this should do all of its neighbors then tell its neighbours to do its neighbours. Yeah, that would probably work too. I wonder if that's how the JavaScript ones. I don't want to cheat and look at the code, but I totally could. Why is live unit testing? What are you doing? You're just crashing over and over again? Yep. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Anyway. Um, okay. Let me put the failing test back to failing. Let's think about that. So refresh neighbors. We want to refresh our neighbors before our neighbors refresh their neighbors. 
so bool pass it on <laughs> no let's be serious <laughs> refresh maybe's the how do I write this? Repress dependent neighbors? Uh, re refresh all neighbors. Why not? And we need to pass that through. And this is refresh neighbors. And so. If we've changed direction, uh, sorry, we don't want to refresh our neighbors, and then we set ourselves happy, and we probably do that, and go, now, let's refresh, oh, let's tell our neighbors to refresh their neighbors. But I've got to act on this boolean somehow. <laughs> so, if yeah okay and there's got to be some call here that's not right well there's a lot of calls to this method uh when we remove a track we want to refresh our neighbors but we don't want to refresh this i can't remember and uh, <clears throat> Sure. I, why do I feel that's wrong? No, that's right. Yep. I think. Okay. So, up, think, think, up. Yep. Yes. Okay. Much better. The cross track still work? Uh. <laughs> Nobody saw that, right? I just commit the code. God. It's a minefield. Okay. That. Oh, what are you doing? <laughs> it's the one annoying thing about streaming, because I can't tell whether everybody's there laughing at me, laughing in conversation, or there's just nobody there. I am laughing at the farcical nature. Look at that. Bong. <laughs> okay. So we get a track there, and then we check our neighbors. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's like it's not even. It's not actually. It's not one step forward, two steps back, or two steps forward, one step back. It's just one step forward, one step back. That's all. Playing with the web version. Yeah, the web version's like more well, finished. <laughs> and you can do trains. We'll get there eventually. <sighs> can you even these test with that? Yeah. I mean, maybe not, right? Like, maybe maybe I am making this very hard for myself. But I can do this in the JavaScript version, which apparently is too hard for Windows. Um, yeah. Like, this bug wouldn't be solved if I had three-way junctions, because they're not involved. But this bug that I just fixed maybe wouldn't have occurred, and therefore the fix maybe is the wrong thing. Like, yeah. Mm. <laughs> Why is this doing that weirdness? I go down. It's happy. It shouldn't change. I'm gonna. I tell you, actually, let's see. I am gonna have to stop streaming because <laughs> it is getting late. So if this, okay, if this test fasts, I'm gonna write a new failing test, and at least I've got something to do. At least I've got something to do next, next time. Uh, alright, final test. Where are we? Let's go. I don't know. Let's commit this. Uh, what do we do? 
everything, the world. I forgot to commit readily again. Oh god, yeah, I'm the worst developer ever. <laughs> um, I think we had a cross tracks, right? Yeah, okay. I had a cross tracks and a bunch of other stuff. And now we're going to do a, let's say, sideways hairpin. So the fun part of all, all this as well, or the scary part, is that I really, I really want to do cars. Like, I want to make it so much more complex. Yeah, the other, yeah, did stuff, fixed a bug, no idea. Mm. You joke, but. I'm just waiting for my teammates to complain about me because I totally do that. Oh, yeah. Okay. One, uh, one, two, 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 three, two, three, one, two, one. Right. <laughs> horizontal, horizontal, the left up, left down. Okay, we should have a failing test, and if we do, as horrible as it is, I will bid you adieu. Hey, pure crime, where's it going? Well, there's all these people watching me, what, where? Alright, cool. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for joining me. Oh, I get a Commit this. Um, add failing test. If anyone does clone this and run it and that board render attached to the other, yeah, well, no, no, I'm going to do the ASCII up thing. Um, if anyone does find other failing real world tests, please feel free to like PR an adding of a test. Um, I actually kind of like. I really love doing those real world. Used to where I used to work, I wrote a uh, a query language, right? And the parser was was pretty good, but there was you know the, the input scope is huge. So whenever any customer said, "Hey, this query is not working," I would just immediately copy and paste that into a unit test, and then fix the test, and then I know that one's not going to regress, and I know that you know no other fix can regress. It's really cool, I think, we're good. So yeah, if anyone does play with it, please open a PR to add a failing test. And then I guess next week we're just getting them green. Um, so yeah, thank you. Oh, I just didn't even save my food. Thank you for joining me. Enjoy your week. Uh, for those who joined late, this should be up on YouTube tomorrow. And um, yeah. See you next week. If you have any questions or comments or anything else. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. What do I say? Like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter. There's a link up. How do I point? There. Um, do something. Yay. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everyone. See ya.